Hi everyone, welcome back to today's Morning Report Chart Appraisals on Thursday the 30th of July with me, Richard Perry, Market Analyst at Hantech Markets. Moving on to cable and pretty much another example of a false move on cable. And we've seen these over the past two weeks really. We had, just zooming in slightly here, we've got this um, bearish key one day reversal or bearish outside day, bearish uh, engulfing pattern, whatever you want to call it. Theoretically, that would put you in a negative mindset. That didn't really do much to the chart. And also, what we've seen yesterday, we saw a false breakout. False breakout above the range. That um, We were watching this at the time, and I, I was thinking, well, this is not really... This was coming in front of the FOMC meeting. It's not really coming on a great deal of volume. It's not really acting with any decisive nature. And ultimately, it um, sharply reversed um, in the wake of the, um, well, sharp, sharply reversed pretty quickly in front of the meeting, but also then subsequently to the meeting as well, uh, further downside, and created what looks to be a shooting star candle. I'm not going to take this as a shooting star. I do not think that is a reversal of any um, significant uh, degree. I think this is just playing out part of this uh, part of this range play, and we're still looking for the breakouts because you've got the momentum indicators, which remain fairly neutral, but on a very slightly positive side of neutral due to the stochastics, in my opinion. Um, but other than that, you're still range bound. But I think you're st you're still sort of the the fact that the bulls have have come in and supported them to, uh, cable today. I still think that there's a an element of looking to sort of put pressure on the upside and certainly this move that we saw initially to the upside yesterday that did ultimately sort of correct back here we had the last three days in a row of decent gains then a bit of a correction but you've not really seen any sort of major breakdown um of the uh, of the run in the last few days from this uh, just minor correction because you're basically just back into the first band of support and that first band of support is pretty much holding, I think, around that 55.90 area. So uh, it's interesting that, that we've seen that. And in the last hour or so, we've started to see a price creeping higher again. Only It's only up 10, bu 10 point pips on the day, but still, it's just creeping higher. Um, and the momentum indicators as well, uh, pretty much just unwound back to where they have been through this bull run higher in the last few days. MACD lines back towards neutral, stochastics turning higher again, interestingly. RSI back towards that 44 and bouncing so not a major amount has gone wrong yet really w with the fact that the Fed has come out with this arguably slightly hawkish lean but still I think that sterling is is remaining pretty positive I think that um, going into this GDP data this afternoon that uh, cable looks reasonably settled and, and fairly um, well certainly range bound within the context of the uh, the last few weeks but also very slightly positive and I say slightly positive skew uh, within that range but nothing too significant and um, I think it, it could well be that if, if uh, GDP comes out this afternoon with a, a um, bit of a bit of a surprise then we could see some direction coming through finally but um, certainly in front of that data cable is looking reasonably positive within this range so I wish you good luck in your trading um, you've got initial support that comes in I said as I said around 55.90 and then back at 55.25 um, which is the reaction low that we saw on Tuesday getting my days wrong Tuesday so I wish you good luck in your trading I'll speak to you later thank you